Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. Um, I am here with my beautiful mama. Hi. And we recorded this really fun, beautiful, full glam look. If you're interested in learning how to replicate this look or work with mature skin or just curious to see how I do makeup as of lately, then stick around and watch mom photo shoot it out at the end. Yes. Please like, comment, and sus subs subscribe. <laughs> And uh, share this video if you like it. Alright guys, so I have a cotton pad with some micellar water and now I'm just cleansing down mom's skin. Next up I'm taking a spoolie with some Anastasia brow freeze and just really going back and forth, getting in between all those hairs, pushing them up and shaping those brows. And then what I like to do is take the other end of my spoolie and just pat everything down, make sure it sticks. And then after that I just go in with my Senna brow book and I just used this shade brunette on like a medium or small sized angle brush and I'm just going in there filling in those little gaps and kind of touching up along the way. I used a medium sized flat brush with the lightest shade in my temp to concealer wheel and I just went in and started carving out mom's brows throw in some extra color on her lids to create a nice base and then patting it all down so it's even. Next up I take a medium sized fluffy brush and I went in with like a chocolate brown, what I'm pretty sure is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, one of those babies, pretty sure it was probably modern renaissance, and I just started carv carving out her eyes and fluffing everything up. Take your time with this part because every shade counts. At this point, I throw in a more orangey transition color right above where I just placed that chocolate brown and I just start really fluffing everything in together. So now I'm alternating between my fluff brush and my color brushes where I can deposit more color and I'm just starting to shape everything out. Here I'm just taking my ring finger with some NYX glitter primer and throwing it on her inner corner lids. And then I take a nice matte white color with a fluffier brush and just really start packing that color in so we can create some more depth. I grabbed some extra white shadow on my ring finger and threw some extra on for color payoff and then I took a fluffy brush and just started melting those browns and the white together so it could look a little more seamless. At this point, we're ready for eyeliner, so I just take a really small detail brush with my Inglot Black Gel Liner, and I just tell mom to look forward at me, notice how I'm directing her face uh, whenever I need her to turn, um, lightly, lightly touching her face, um, and I'm also always using a cotton pad on my ring finger so I can kind of lean on that and not have like my whole hand on her face or like grabbing her very aggressively. I'm very, very light and gentle and I'm just kind of pulling that color in as thin as I can and outward and don't worry about making this part perfect because we can always correct it and fix it later. So just always remember that it's just makeup. We can always fix it later. So here I'm just smudging the very edges of that liner just so we have a nice little ombre vibe right at the end of that wing. Also notice how I totally got some liner right at the end of her eyebrow, crying on the inside, but we're going to fix that up later. So instead I'm just taking my time with that liner, going over everything and making sure there are no gaps. Thank you. 
Now I have a small smudger brush and I actually used my Senna brow book for this because it was like the closest thing I had handy. And I just used the black color in there and just really start patting that in so we can secure that gel liner and correct at the same time anything that we need to fix. All right, so here I have a smaller concealer brush with some nicer water and I'm just cleaning up under that wing so we can really get that nice foxy eye that we are going for. Um, so this part is super important, I would say. And yeah, look at that cleanup. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my black Makeup Forever Artist Pencil and I'm just tight lining her eyes, which again, super essential step if you are going for a flawless eye look. Taking that same pencil, we are now throwing some on her waterline, and then I'm going back and just thickening up that line just a tiny, tiny bit, and then going back in with a smaller smudger brush and just blending that out real quick so we can create a nice base for the shadow we're going to throw on top of that. I'm going in with a nice orangey shade, the same one we used in the transition before, with a dome-shaped smaller brush, and I'm just fluffing that right into that uh, color that we blended out before. Then with a smaller smudger brush, I'm taking some black shadow really close to her lash line. I've already waited for my black duo glue to get tacky, so now I'm using my lash applicators and I'm just applying my Amavi lashes in the style Elisabetta and we are throwing them on. We did not have to size them, they were perfectly sized. They are vegan, reusable, cruelty free, the list goes on and on and they are the most comfortable lashes in the world. So if you are interested in supporting my business, link down below, check them out. Once the glue has totally dried, I'm going back in with my liner brush and some gel liner and just covering up that band so it's invisible. Quick cleanup with a Q-tip and some more Meissler water right underneath her eyes and into her inner corners just so we can start super fresh. Using my spoolie and the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara, I'm just taking that right into her natural lash and melting that with the Foam Ink Lash. This step is obviously super important, and I like to do my mascara after foaming lashes, but some people prefer to do it before. Either or works, but I think this is better. <laughs> Next up, we're jumping into skin. I'm just taking my ring finger with some Derma E Hydrating Eye Cream and throwing that right underneath of her eyes, working it in and letting it have time to do its magic. Then I am taking the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, putting that all over her face and neck and really working it in, allowing blood flow to come back into her face and help out with wrinkles. Using a lip brush and my berry flavored lip sleeping mask from Laneige, if you know, you know. I'm just throwing some of that on and then going in with a stipple brush and some Temp2 base primer and just throwing a nice little light coat of that everywhere and doing a little eyebrow touch up. <laughs> Next, I'm doing a quick color match and then going in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Fiji Light 5 and using my already wet beauty blender um, to kind of press everything in. And I'm really taking my time making sure I can get this part as seamless as possible. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking that same foundation color, just a tiny smidge of it, and throwing it right underneath of her eyes to continue that base. And then I'm using that same brush and just kind of blending everything out where I need a little extra help and precision with a smaller brush. Using a small flat concealer brush and going in with my Temp2 concealer wheel in a 
darker chocolate contour color. I'm just going in and placing that contour exactly where I need it. Um, and we will blend later. This is solely for placement purposes. Using the same exact concealer wheel and now a different concealer brush, I picked out something a little bit peachier and went in and then placed that highlight color wherever we need it. Just for a quick hydrating mist, I use the Claude de Lis Beauty Elixir and then a dome shaped medium brush and I start blending to the gods. I start with the contour and then I jump over and blend the rest out. I did choose to go in with my beauty blender to blend out as much as I could of that highlight concealer, but then I do end up jumping back over to my fluffy brush and getting in there as far as her under eyes go. Blending everything out one last time with my Beauty Blender and then going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my Triangle Powder Puff from Amazon, everything's linked down below, and making sure I'm setting her under eyes specifically just so that concealer doesn't set into her wrinkles. Next, with a fluffy brush, I'm using my Mayron Pressed Powders in the shade Medium Dark. I'm going to use that color to now go over and set everywhere that we just contoured with the cream so we can give some more dimension and depth to her face and bring in some more warmth, making sure everything is blended together and looks bomb. Make sure you're taking it down the neck too. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid highlight in the shade Perla, I am using a highlight brush. I already threw some on the back of my hand and stippled some of that into my brush to warm it up. And now I am just dabbing that away on her highlight points. Y'all already know, I take some of that same highlight and throw it down on her collarbones, down her neck, make sure their decollete is luminous. I think it makes the biggest difference when all the skin you're seeing is cohesive. Using a medium shaped fluffy brush, I took the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Happy and started warming it up on the back of my hand and then went in with that brush and then applied it to the face. And then I kind of go back and forth between that fluffy brush with the color and a beauty blender to soften that look. Now to set that liquid blush we just applied, I go in with my Rising Star Cheek Palette from NARS and I use the shade Guilty Pleasure and dab over everywhere blush should be just to set that color, melt everything together, and bring it to life. Next up, I take a small highlighting brush and I double over the highlighter again Using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, I swipe across all three highlighting colors and then reapply that on the highest points of the face, down the neck, collarbones, all that good stuff. Now going back in and setting the makeup with our Powder Puff and Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I am swiping right beneath her contour color and I am pushing and pressing all of this powder in. Definitely, definitely. Do not be stingy with this part. It is so essential to making the makeup last and making sure everything stays in place. So make sure you're going over everything. Make sure you're going over the, co the contour colors, highlight and blush very lightly. And also make sure you're setting the neck too, anywhere that foundation has touched. So I know we already set the under eye, but I like to go back in this time with a lot more powder 
and I like to be very generous under there and around her nose. Those are the areas that tend to get the most oily very quickly. And then I go in with a fluffy brush and my Mayron pressed powders, and then I swipe away all that extra translucent powder with the pressed powder. This part creates that airbrushed, flawless filter look. Just to make sure we're looking extra smoky, I go back in with a little bit of extra black eyeshadow and kind of blend everything out just a tad. Then I'm just reapplying some black eyeliner on her waterline just so that color is as strong and as deep as it can be. Going in with a small fluffy brush, I'm just smoking that out one more time and then we are basically done there. Using my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Coco Bling, I'm just taking some of that uh, loose highlighter right into her inner corners and then using the other side of my brush, that really thin detail brush, and I'm just throwing the tiniest bit right below her brows and then blending that color in so it's not very, very prominent and just more of a flush of that color to bring more lightness to her eyes. Next, it's time to line her lips. I use my powder puff to kind of adjust my hand how it needs, and I'm going in with my NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige and correcting her lips. I really like to throw this color everywhere. I feel it creates uh, a really good and strong base that just makes the lip color last longer throughout the day, so I do take this everywhere. Now I'm using a lip brush and loading it up with Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and throwing that color right in the center of her lips to give some more warmth. Finishing off with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray and using my fan to set it. And that is all guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you know when I post some more, and thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think.